Jefferson! Can I use some toothpaste, please? Look at what this idiot is doing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so ghetto, if I don't have a toothbrush, I use my finger. Put it in the air and let the smell linger. <laughs> Good morning, Jefferson. Are you ready to rock and roll, bro? <laughs> Good morning everyone, it is 6.30 a.m. We are at the Picton Harbor Inn at the tip of the bay. Today we're going after giant walleye with Taro Murata. He's probably gonna use the word unicorn a lot. Bad news. Boat ramp's frozen. Back to sleep? No, not so fast, Jefferson. I've got a plan B. Our fairy godmother is gonna help us save the day. And that's the Glenora Ferry right there. And that's gonna bring us to another ramp. A ramp so we can keep chasing these unicorns in the land of the unicorns where anything is possible. Thank you, fairy godmother. Let's get on the ferry, baby. If you want to catch a trophy fish, a lifetime kind of fish, a super sized, super tank type of fish, sometimes you got to travel to where they exist at the right time of year. And there's only a few places on earth that you have average size of walleye this big, you know, where a 10 pound fish is a good fish. But anywhere else, it's ridiculous. You know what I mean? You can break 10 pounders just like that. So if you're not in the right place, your odds could take a life, like it's almost a lifetime to catch one that big. Or maybe not at all. They don't exist. The gene pool is not there. So we're in the Bay of Quinty, and uh, it's kind of an inlet from the big Lake Ontario. So these are big water fish, man. These fish will roam out in the big water chasing bait fish in the warmer months. Some of them stay here, some of them are resident fish. But this time of year, we're in like, uh, you know, early winter, early to mid winter. A lot of those main lake fish come in here follow the bait and what they do in these inlets is feed like crazy to get their eggs nice and big and get ready for the spawn. So they'll come in here and feed from now all the way to spring and then go up to the rivers to spawn and a lot of them will go back out to the main lake. So this is a time of year where you get, you do have those fish, the resident fish that stay here and eat and also the big water fish that stay near here and eat. So it's the timing, your odds just go through the roof of catching a giant this time of year. So what we're doing out here is we're trolling. We've got planer boards, a whole bunch of lines. There's covering a bunch of deep water with different baits running at different depths. So we're kind of combing the sands for these giants right now. And we have magic carpets in the land of the unicorns, also known as a planer board. All you gotta do is there's a left and there's a right side. This is the right side, right side of the boat. It says right, right there. I like these red clips, it's got a little tooth in the back. Put the line behind the tooth, sometimes the clips come off, but with that tooth, it'll keep the board on. And these carpets will bring our lines out there to the side so we can stack a whole bunch of lines without tangling and keep our baits away from the boat. Genius. On the Bay of Quinty, never leave home without the color purple descent key color. Purple up here, I don't know, it's just been a staple for so many years. Purple, purple, purple is always a good way to go. You got a giant. Just steady reeling, just steady reeling. Ain't no, no pumping of the rod, it's big. Good call, Jeff, you saw that. Great eye, buddy. I said this is gonna be Jefferson's first walleye and it's gonna be a massive one. He's just not even reeling with the right hand or anything. It's all uncomfortable, but it's okay. Just steady, you don't wanna Tear it. Just one nice, easy, steady retrieve. No pumping of the rod. Just even. And I gotta keep the rods kind of straight. Just keep going, Jack. Fish still there? Hope so. You know, if you you can fish your whole life and never catch one of these because they're just so hard to find if you're not in the right body of water. And Jefferson, we're in the right body of water. Again, Jeff, when we get that fish near the boat, don't reel all the way to the tip kind of thing. You want to get leave some line from the rod tip to the fish. Just so there's some give there. Too short a line, you shake them off, and it could be a fish of a lifetime. Looks big, 
I just don't know how big, but it looks heavy and big. The way that board buckled, it looks like a tunai. You know what I call a tunai? When the walleye's eyes are as big as a toonie. Is it a lunai or a tunai? Oh, it's giant, Jeff. Step back, it's giant. It's giant, Jeff. Oh my God. Look at the size of this walleye. Why we're doing that, why we're putting them in the net the way it is, we don't want to put the, put the pressure on a big fish like that by putting the scale through its lip. Check that out, Jeff. Can you believe that? Two eyes, man. Look at those two eyes. This is a unicorn. I don't know why his horn's not growing right now, but these things are rare. You know, we gotta let these things go. So it was, what, 14.6, let's say? Go free, unicorn, go free. Okay, another trick I'm doing out here is using a lead core line with shallow running baits. Lately, these light pulling baits with the lead have been catching me some fish. So um, these baits are generally shallow running, but with the lead, it gets them down deep. So you have a light pulling bait that gets down deep. And I'll show you what I do. Each color represents, so if I get rid of this one color, it represents an extra eight feet to your bait. So this bait probably runs about five feet deep plus this one color of line, we'll get what, eight plus five, Jeff? 13, it gets down 13. So I've been doing well on four colors, I've been doing well on, so 20 feet added to the bait, so about 25 down. And now what I've been also doing with this bait, which is abnormal, what it has been working at, sometimes I notice I'm not getting bit on the steady baits back there, and with the lead, I've just been kind of yo-yoing like this. Let it go back. And yo-yo. Just give it a little bit more action. Get the fish's attention. Maybe make them react in the cold water. So just that little bit of extra motion has been getting me some really key bites when it's been slow. So you, I know the fish are there, but they're not always hitting on that steady pace sometimes. So this has actually plucked out in the past week seven or eight good bites. So this stupid little trick, and I don't think many people are doing, um, has been really helping out. Jefferson, you always complain about not catching big fish because we need to travel, we need to go out when it's cold, and we need to go further than normal, and that's what happens. We put a little bit more effort in, you froze your butt off, and we caught a giant. We did. And sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, and you finally listen, and congratulations. Thanks, buddy. You got a, I had a great guy. You got a unicorn. Ha, 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 ha.